I say. Hello, DJ here, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program for something a little different. You see, I was browsing the KSP forums a moment ago, and I spotted a thread about someone base jumping Jeb off the vehicle assembly building. Um, and then there was a reply about someone suggesting that uh, we recreate, um, what's his name, Felix uh, Baumgartner's uh, world record jump from approximately 40 kilometers, although I have since discovered that it was recently beaten, well, recently, I mean two years later, in 2014, by a chap called Alan Eustace. Um, although they're in slightly different categories because uh, Eustace used a drogue shoot for part of his jump. Uh, I'm using the old Soyuz style capsule because it's a bit like uh, um, Baumgartner's um, little pod that he used, although of course we've got a, a rocket instead of a big old balloon. So we're coming up and ooh, 42, 41, ooh, keep it going, keep it going, keep going, oh, up, up a bit. And let's, um, this might take a while, should we uh, skip up there? All right, here we go, 41, 41, one, two, three, four, and let go. Um, I hope these two drift apart. Now, spoiler, um, this works, by the way. Um, I have tested this a couple of times and it seems to work, um, although Jeb seems to have either, well, no, we're falling now, so he's actually got more drag, which is nice. How's he feeling? He's looking pretty good. He's happy. Jeb's always happy. Happy. He's a happy chappy. Yeah. Right, this actually takes about, oddly enough, about the same amount of time as it did in the real world. It takes about four minutes to get back down there, um, so I think we better zip on over. All right, getting ready and about now-ish. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Easy as pie. And we're currently, are we going backwards? Yes, I love tea. Tea is good. Tea is lovely. Um, yeah. uh, where shall we land? I landed on the helipad last time. So can we land on the tower? That might be an interesting challenge. I just better get down there. Probably could have pulled this at about 500, but never mind. We and do a little flare. Round we go. All right. Is that going to be a bit? I don't know if that's. Is this even going to be possible? Down and pull up, pull up, and just bleed off some lateral. Oh dear! I don't think we're going to make it. Come on. Oh dear. No, we're going to need to bleed off a lot more speed. No, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. I think. He says, he says, he says. Come on, come on. Round we go. One more. Actually, um, old Kirk did actually um, base jump um, f onto and then from um, a vehicle. Um, what was it? One particular building? I can't remember which it is now. Come on, come on, come on. No, we've missed it. Oh, no. We, oh, so close. So close. Oh, well. Well, there you go. And, oh, dear. Oh, a bit of spaghetti. bit of spaghetti. Um, but, yeah, he's he's, he's all right. <laughs> a little bit shaken. He's, uh, you're right, Jeb. He's uh, not so happy chappy now. He looks a little bit stunned. But, yeah, it is entirely possible to jump from 40,000 kilometers 40,000 kilometers 40 kilometers um, and arrive safely and I bet people are gonna land on the tower but oh until next time I'm DJ and this has been KSP and you'll see you later